Venue SC48 offers an innovative alternative to the assignable channel section offered on Venue D-Show and Profile Control Surfaces. In the Channel Control section, you'll now access the desired controls by choosing the parameter sets before attempting adjustment. By doing so, you'll get a filtered set of controls assigned to the eight channel control encoders. For example, if you need to adjust an EQ on a channel, first select the desired channel and then press EQ in the channel control section. Notice that once you do this, the LEDs surrounding the encoders turn green and the EQ section in the software interface also turns green. This coordination provides powerful continuity between the control surface and the software to ensure you'll never grab the wrong control. The remaining channel controls are also grouped by color and offer the same continuity to the software interface. As with other venue consoles, you can control EQ and Dynamics plugins with the same encoders you use for onboard EQ and Dynamics. To do this with SC48, simply press the plugin button that is grouped with the EQ, compressor, and gate buttons in the channel control section for the channels that are using an EQ or Dynamics plugin. When you press the plugin button, notice how all text shifts to uppercase and the color is removed from the EQ section in the software interface, all to help reinforce the notion that you're now controlling a different equalizer than the onboard EQ. If you leave the plug-in button engaged, the next time you come back to the selected channel, the channel control section will remember you were using a plug-in and keep it assigned to the channel control encoders until you disengage it. Finally, the user button allows you to build your own custom combination of controls for the channel control section. If I press the user button, the controls change to a default combination of controls, as you can see here. By double-clicking on the user button, I can put the channel control section into an assignment mode. Now, double-clicking on the controls will clear them from the channel control section. This allows me to then go to the software interface and right-click on any parameter control of the input, EQ, dynamics, or auxiliary sections to add those controls to the channel control section in any order desired. This custom assignment is now global for all channels on the console.